Hey guys, this is Primeval, and today we're playing Democracy 3, which is a political simulation. And I have with me Nana Lizzie. Introduce yourself. Yes, hello. I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, I'm 81 years old, but I do not have any impairment of the brain yet. <laughs> and don't expect to have ever. And it's because I'm so interested in politics. <laughs> Excellent. So this is just a simulation, so we won't take things too seriously. Um, we've recently come into power. We've been elected as Prime Minister of Canada. We're both Canadian, so this should be a fun scenario. And there are a number of uh, social issues in red that we need to address, or at least that we should address, or else the people probably won't re-elect us. So one of them here is alcohol abuse. We have a serious problem with people consuming alcohol in large quantities. And this is obviously bad for their health, but it's also leading to crime and disorder in our cities. And so there are a number of causes that this game is giving us. There's poverty, unemployment, and of course, alcohol consumption uh, is a direct cause right. of alcohol abuse. Okay. And uh, one thing we could do to, uh, we could try to re um, reduce those causes, um. or we could also spend more, more money on the police force. We have some, some draconian things like the death penalty and curfews, but I don't oh, think... God, no. <laughs> Oh, no. That's too conservative. That's too Republican. <laughs> okay, so I should also mention that we're playing as the Liberal Party and the opposition uh -huh. is the Jehovah Party. Right. Um, okay. Uh, we're not entirely sure what the Jehovah Party stands for, but anyways. Um, hmm. We should uh, look at alcoholism as uh, a condition mm -hmm. that is open for all kinds of research and, and um, new uh, drugs to be used mm -hmm. and so on. So maybe we should uh, formulate all right. a so, medical research. Yeah, so we can uh, increase our funding of technology. Yes. Uh, or we could increase our funding of healthcare. Uh, I don't know if those will directly address alcohol in this simulation, although I can see what you're getting at. Yeah. Uh, for... Well, you see, I'm an actual yeah. situation. Um, so, what do you think? Should we increase our funding for healthcare or technology? So, at the moment, we're running a seven point eight billion dollar deficit. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I don't know if we can support uh, upping healthcare or other things at the moment. I mean, like a small uh, increase, yeah, sure, it's fine. We, we we have the freedom to run as big yeah, a deficit as we want. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I I'm not going to be saddled with that any more than I can be. But uh, I really think, uh, for one thing, uh, now is this mainly in in, in uh, with teenagers or is that with everybody? Mm, well, uh, so the alcohol abuse problem is also tied into our antisocial behavior problem, uh, which is the vandalism, public nuisance, uh -huh. petty street crime, okay. which does sound like it would be uh, mostly with uh, younger people. Um, yes. So that, that all seems to be tied right. together. Well, there. I think there should be some kind of research council mm -hmm. uh, which is going to look into this with doctors on it and psychiatrists yes. and scientists of various kinds who are looking into new drugs that could be used so that alcoholism is not just, a, you know, moral decay. Right. Uh, it's probably something to do with their... Uh, Physiology. Mm -hmm. Is that the word? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And All so, right. so, so there should be a research, and the research council, whatever it is, should have young people and parents and teachers and, and so on, and they can all get together and come up with some solutions. Okay, so we could up our science funding. Like, there doesn't seem to be a way to target specifically. Healthcare fund, and we could. Yeah, but but uh, that would be good. What you suggested. Oh yeah. All right. So let's. I I don't think this is going to directly address our problem, but we can up science funding slightly. Mm -hmm. uh, and, yes, uh, slightly is right. Slightly. Okay. So right now we're spending one point eight billion dollars on science funding. What do you think we should push that up to? One point eight. Mm -hmm. uh, it is. Well, what do you think? Uh, well, uh, the next, right now, there, our research funding is summarized by the word microscopes. And if we pump it up to $2.8 billion, so another billion dollars per quarter, um, it's summarized by the word electron microscopes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. well, I don't think that helps with alcoholism. No, I don't think that'll help with alcoholism either. <laughs> but it's, it's, a, it's just a general term to 
you know, just for fun to describe uh-huh. the research level. So we could uh, up that this turn um, to raise research funding would cost us six political capital. And we have, I think we have 19 political capital for this quarter. So uh, so that's well, an option. Six would be good. I, I, I would like the, the government and the, the councils and so on to make sure that the young people themselves who mm-hmm. are into all this problem uh-huh. uh, will be on this council and that right. will be taken seriously mm-hmm, to do mm-hmm. this. Yeah, so definitely uh, getting some more information on the problem would be good. But I don't think I know how to <laughs> delve <laughs> into that, into that in, in this particular oh. game. All right. right. So we've got some other problems yes. in the whole law and order category. So there's yeah. the antisocial behavior. Mm-hmm. There's uh, the alcohol abuse. We also have a problem with organized crime. Oh. <laughs> Large organized gangs of serious criminals are now targeting our country. And um, this we, is un Canadian. Yes, that's nice. <laughs> we don't have much organized crime. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, maybe we do. Mm-hmm. All right, so we can try to fight that by increasing our funding of intelligence services. Um, organized crime is also uh, making or being encouraged by since we allow uh, gambling. So if we put more restrictions on gambling, that could uh, that would help. Cut yes, back on that. Um, we could also uh, fund the armed police. Uh, or uh, reduce uh, or increase our restrictions on drugs, as well as legalizing prostitution. Uh, those would all cut back on organized crime. Well, okay. Pro- and, and also drug? Uh... Yeah, so our narcotics policy, if we were to... Uh, let's see. Uh, well, So at the moment, the slider seems to suggest that we've already legalized cannabis in Canada. Uh, which isn't exactly well. It isn't exactly accurate. right. But it's, it's, no, but, but it's coming. I mean, mm-hmm, it, it will, mm-hmm. uh, without all the faulty role yes. that goes on in the states. Uh, and so, if we wanted, we could legalize LSD, but um, for treatment of alcoholism. Oh, or just in general. Oh, so let's let's ignore that issue for now. <laughs> I'm not very good at this game. I oh no, 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 no. Um, so the final issue in uh, the law and order category is we also have vigilante mobs. Oh, um, so they've lost their faith in the police ability to beat crime. So I guess they're not too happy with the um, antisocial behavior and uh, <laughs> the organized crime there. All right. Now, is there anything that we could say about uh, restrictive television or restrictive uh, something so they wouldn't be faced with violence? On the television ah, I constantly. see. So you think that the, the reason the citizens are so bad, not because there's an actual problem of crime, just the media is portraying too much crime on TV. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. I, it- I, I don't know if we have any options for that. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, well, uh, there's art subsidies. Uh, we could fund the arts, uh, which I suppose would be an alternative yeah, but that's only a very television. small. Yeah, not not too many yeah. people enjoy the arts there. Hmm. No, I, I don't think we've got too much <laughs> by the. Oh, tell it. No, no, no. Um, I don't think we have too much in the way of censoring the media here. Oh, uh, okay. At the moment. All right. Um, so one way we could directly address the vigilante mobs is if we um, just funded the police force a little more. But again, we do have this deficit, so. That's, that's well, I don't think concern. putting on more police is going to do anything. Mm, we also have some other policies in the uh, law and order category. Um, we could enact community policing, which is uh, sort of a, a new way to do policing. Uh, Without where, weapons. Um, no, in this case, it's working with the community rather than attempting to control it. Community policing encourages police to better understand the needs of the local community. Yes, I like that. Ah, all right. All right. I, I like Especially in areas with ethnic minorities. Yes. Uh, the critics, however, see it as an expensive waste of money, which could be better spent on direct methods to cut crime. No. no I think that's... Like I like that All right. One. So... Do you? Uh, yeah, no, I, I think uh, it could be useful <laughs> for us here. Uh, its popu- estimated popularity is only at 45%, but that's not bad. There are plenty of other many uh, things that would be much more unpopular. Um, the potential cost is between $129 million to $828 million per quarter. 
So well, do you I, think we can afford this? I don't think so. No? Oh, well, well we've got to do let's something. Try. Let's try. We've got to do yeah. something. And I think that strengthening the community and including people in the community who are not police or Gestapo or anything mm -hmm. like that, <laughs> but <laughs> I think that uh, uh, to encourage uh, uh See, Canada is different from the states, I mm -hmm. think, because you have these uh, communities which are are uh, much stronger. You know, they mm. they don't send the police in with their rifles and their yeah. At stuff. least compared to what we've seen on television, Canada has still has some problems with ghettoization, but, yeah. but it's certainly not as severe as no. As, I as the uh, but I think that to encourage community support in whatever way. Uh, and if it takes a little money, I think that's good. All right, so we could spend uh, half a billion dollars here, and that would put a big uh, uh -huh. reduction in antisocial behavior and alcohol abuse. Yes. Uh, it would make the liberals happy, reducing crime, violent crime, and racial tension. Um, so um, it's just a matter of how much we want to spend, and it, it affects uh, if we spent a lot of money, we could really cut into antisocial behavior and alcohol abuse. Um, or we could spend just a minimum amount and have a, a well, small Well, what were you suggesting? Half a billion? Yeah, half a billion might be okay. That's it's quite a hefty sum, but it does seem like it would be fairly effective at reducing a couple of the yeah. problems. Yeah, I, right. that, I'm for that. All right, so let's apply that change. And um, should we go on to the next quarter then? We don't yeah. want to make too many changes at once. Well, right. Yes, exactly. No, but I think that would be good, and I think it would be good for the communities. And uh, I must say that in Canada... The idea of working with neighborhood communities and and so on, uh, we're set up for that. There's been a lot of that, and I think that's good. All right, so we've got the community policing active now, and that's a very liberal thing to do. Mm -hmm. We are the liberal party. Yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> All right, so our quarterly report. This is the summary of uh, what's happening here. Um, so we have an issue to deal with, an urgent policy question. Freedom of information. There have been calls for a law to increase the availability, the availability of information held on databases about citizens without their knowledge. These include the records held by private medical companies, insurance companies, and debt collection agencies, as well as information held by government uh, oh departments. Boy, that's hard. So we could reject this. Yeah. Um, nobody likes the idea of the government holding information about them, but in some circumstances it needs to be done. That's the government right. isn't out to spy on everyone, but passing this law will just make it harder for intelligence services to keep watch on serious criminals and terrorists. And it will also affect a large number of businesses who have databases and they'll be swamped with more bureaucracy. So, you know, forcing yeah. different companies to release what I, sort of data they have would right. be costly for them. But I don't think that's... Not necessarily the best justification? Well... Okay, no. so we can also yeah. propose this Freedom Act. It's essential that we have a law passed as one of the checks and balances required in any truly free society. Yes. The right, average law-abiding right, citizen. Good. Oh, yeah, okay. Good, so so we might that. anger some, some people here, but we'll, we'll go and propose this Freedom Act. All right. So that, that's good. And okay, so we have an economic forecast. Good news. The global economy is doing well, and that's having a positive effect on our GDP. Yes, that Excellent. is good. Don't so do anything to our you. deficit used to be uh, at... Uh, eight billion, and now it's at seven point eight billion. So it, well, that's uh, good. Oh, it's a slight improvement, even yeah. though we just spent half a billion. So, yeah, yeah. So, so that's good. Good, good. Uh, not good necessarily uh, directly our doing, but uh, nothing ever is. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's see what else uh, what that summary was. All right, so the polls. Uh, our government is not very popular at the moment, despite having just been elected. Our, yes, our approval rating is only at eighteen percent. So we've got to do something to, yes. to improve that. Cut taxes. <laughs> Cut taxes. Yes, always a popular move. <laughs> All right. Um, and everything else seems fine. Okay, so we also have a situation in transport. There's a rail strike going on. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, so the rail employees aren't too happy with the funding situation. We could increase rail subsidies or make the labor laws a little more uh, draconian. Can do here. both. Yeah, well, sure, sure. But yeah. So at the moment, our labor laws are considered balanced. We could make them pro-union, or we could make them pro-employee.
employer. Yes, well, pro union, I'm for. Okay, so let's see.、Um, this would make the capitalists、uh, less happy, and it also says it would put a slight、uh, decrease in our productivity. But it would definitely please、uh, trade unionists and、yeah. the socialists.、Uh, yeah. It also raises wages.、Hmm. All right, so going no, I'm, pro I'm union will will cost pro, us. Pro union. Uh, will cost us. Let's see. Will cost us one hundred and ninety million dollars per quarter. You well, I think it's worth it myself. All right, let's let's see how much of an effect that'll have directly on the rail strike. Since I think the the workers, you know, they might have different opinions on on unions. Well, yeah, but they but have... they really care. <laughs> the, the the having these these massive massive、uh, disruptions in the rail network are probably a more Uh, well, yeah, because that will affect the economy、mm -hmm. certainly. All right, so、hmm. labor laws might let us get at this, but I'm not sure. Like going pro union might not stop the strike.、Um, the other well, if, way, if you went pro union, then you gave some concessions. You know, they、goodies. might get back to work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they might get back to work.、Uh, you have to convince the employees that、uh, they don't have that many options. But pro union things, you don't have to go overboard. But、uh, I would say, see, the, the the Liberal Party is a populist party. That's true. So、um, I I would think、uh, working with the employees, which you could work. Through the union to get mm -hmm. at, mm -hmm.、Um, I, I that might be enough. All right, so we could instead of、uh, changing our policy on unions nationally, we could directly apply put some, it. Yeah, apply it to the、yeah. rail strike workers. So we could increase our rail subsidies, which would definitely be some goodies for for all of the rail workers. That's right. We currently spend two point three six billion dollars per quarter on rail subsidies,、uh, and if we were to increase that. Uh, to just three billion,、um, that would please uh, commuters, uh, slightly、yes. displease motorists since they're I guess a little jealous yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It would increase our rail usage, which would be good for the、yes. environment too,、uh, and up、uh, earnings for both the poor and、uh, middle class, and、um, increase、uh, our popularity with commuters in general. Slightly decrease unemployment. So I think that that would be good. It would. Probably end the rail strike, and it looks like it has some good、yeah. effects elsewhere as well. Yeah. So we could also、um, spend up to, let's see, we could get up to high funding at four billion, or we could go maximum funding at six billion.、Um, well, we don't need to go no, maximum. No, we, we don't have to go but, crazy. You no, know, but we could, we could up it certainly. All right. So we're currently at two point three billion. Well, what do you think we should push this up to? Two point three. Well, that does—that's not very much. Oh, not really.、Yeah. We, we're a large so, country. So maybe three point five. Three point five million. Okay, so three point five. Let's do that then. See what happens. Okay, so we're gonna apply those changes.、Uh, should we go on to the next quarter then? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you you put on for the whole year, what have we got? <laughs> Bankruptcy. <laughs> All right, so we have another urgent policy question. This is the ban on same-sex marriage. Oh my God! <laughs> oh heavens! Forget that. All right, so until recently, this hasn't been an issue. Marriage has been straightforward ceremony for heterosexual couples, but increasingly, more liberal ministers have been crying out for same-sex marriage. And、um, so we can either ban this at the constitutional level or allow. No, that's for the Jehovah's Party. Ah, yes.、Yeah, sorry. So yeah. we're going to、so、allow marriage here. So let's let's us have yeah, same sex、mm -hmm. marriage is fine with me. And then we've got an economic forecast. Good news: the global economy is still doing well. Uh oh. Uh, hmm. It's still doing well, but it, it does seem to be decreasing compared to、uh, the previous trend. But our deficit is still、uh, being reduced. We're at six point three billion now. Oh wow! Eight, so. 